project. In this YouTube we want to talk about EM and its uses in paddock surveys, particularly in relation to variable rate gypsum applications. EM is related to the conductivity of the soil and the two key drivers of conductivity are clay content and salinity. On the south coast of WA, our highly conductive soils are found in the Mallee areas. These soils generally have clay within 30 centimetres of the surface and also salts at depth. They also tend to be highly sodic and potentially gypsum responsive. The beauty of EM is that in these soils it tends to be related to the amount of sodicity found in the subsoil and as a consequence it is the Mallee soils which have been most widely EM'd for variable rate gypsum applications. With EM paddock surveys it's possible to pick up areas which have high conductivity and also low conductivity. Generally the low conductivity areas are deeper sands whereas the high conductivity areas tend to be shallow sands over clays. All the subsoil clays along the south coast are sodic and potentially gypsum responsive. As a consequence a paddock EM map can start picking up areas which are potentially gypsum responsive and areas which are have lower chance of being responsive to gypsum. Using this paddock variability it's possible to start portioning gypsum to areas which require it or perhaps are not going to respond to it. And this is the principle behind using EM maps to define areas which are potentially gypsum responsive and make a variable rate gypsum map. Music